All right. As you see, I've got the Hidden Fates. That came in today. I was supposed to get another <laughs> package today. Out of the three I was talking about prior. But that is still delayed. Oh my god. Oh man. Even the mail system wants to hold on to the Pokemons, right? And like always, I had Well, not always, but I do have some news. So what's that news? Today is Friday. Supposed to be restock days. I went to Walmart because it's the closest one to me. I went early. Usually I, I don't get up, you know, extra early or whatever. Sometimes I end up like around 10 a.m. or whatever. But this time I got up early. I went around 8. And to my surprise, there were three people already in the aisle waiting. And I asked them what's going on. And they said, hey, they haven't restocked yet. In fact, I talked to uh, the cashier next to me because I got even more story. <laughs> but she told me that they haven't stocked at all this week. In fact, they're holding on to it. You know, they're not pu putting no Pokemon out. They said, F everybody, we're not putting no Pokemon cards out this week. That's crazy, right? But anyways, about these three people, right? Apparently, these are the same three that has been taking all the Pokemon cards every weekend excuse me every friday every friday they're taking all the pokemon cards they can because there's no limits and they just be waiting as soon as they open their in you know and they, they were they was like mad just like we've been here since seven you know because six to seven is senior hour you know and then everybody else can come in at seven and oh man i, I just couldn't believe it Basically, you know, I'm in Augusta, Georgia. Well, actually, it's a city out there, but it's considered Augusta. But once you get to a certain point, it's Augusta. And these were your good old boys. Yeah. Look like they just got out the Masters Club, you know. And, um, boy, they were mad. And, like I said, the cashier next to me with a, a security guard, boy, they were going in on them, you know. They, they were like, we might as well go ahead and tell them to go. And, um... I decided to check out, you know, the toy style because um, online I seen some Walmarts putting their cards in the toys area. And sure enough, there's a whole empty aisle in the back of the toys, you know, where they have like, you know, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle type, you know, the actual figurines. And that's going to be the Pokemon aisle. They're going to put all the Pokemon stuff in that aisle. But unfortunately, they didn't stock up, you know. It would have been great if I could just go there get that stock and come back to those good old boys and be like oh you should y'all be on um, taking up all the firearms huh but this time look like you're gonna have to miss out on pokemon this time you know ah <laughs> oh, man that that would have been great you know but unfortunately that whole house is empty i don't know when they're gonna stock it i didn't get nothing but i know coming back i could hear them on the phone to their buddies in uh target mm-hmm and they've already wiped out Target, so there was no point in me going to Target. I saw online some Target, well, a lot of Targets are having one item per person. Unfortunately, my Target didn't. They had no limit, so they cleared it all out. There was no point in me going to Target. So sad, sad news. But at least I got this bad boy. It was expensive. In fact, it's still expensive online. I just got another one because I got paid, you know, and um, I couldn't find nothing else. I'm going to have to get another Shining, um, well, I'm holding out on that, you know, Shining Fates. I'm holding out because I don't want to pay Buku, hopefully, online, either Best Buy or Amazon will put it up at a, a retail price, you know, because they do only a handful every now and then out the Blue Moon. I'm hoping to catch that Blue Moon. But yeah, cool story, right? <laughs> Sorry for holding y'all up because I know y'all probably want to see this instead of hearing me talk. But I just want to put out, you know, what's going on with me on this day or if there's anything going on, why it's other. I do have a short, uh, excuse me, um, uh, we got Battle Styles coming in like around May 3rd because um, Target delayed theirs, you know, um, they didn't get the end of April stock right away. So I get that May 3rd. I know May 15th, they're having a Battle Styles restock wave 2 again. And um, I definitely hope to get a booster pack. Um, like I said prior, you know, these special pox, Hidden Fates. 
um, Shining Legends, Champion's Path, and um, Shining Fates do not have um, booster packs. You know, I, I didn't know that at first because last time I'm just getting back into the collecting. So I know I'll probably set some errors on some prior videos, but I hate that I got to now collect these ex over expensive. <laughs> and I know they're not doing no more Hidden Fates that's done with. Uh, um, Champions Path is talking about they're cutting off the run as well for that. I'm kind of scared about that because I don't want to pay over 100 for that. Hopefully, Shining Fates will last for a little bit longer, you know, because I would love to get a couple online instead of overpriced. Even so, more copies came, they are still selling it for buku prices online. People tell some older, oh, the price gonna come down, you know, they're getting stuck with the thing. Well, apparently, they're waiting on over here. I ain't see no good prices on those. Okay, I hope y'all up too long. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy, okay? Hopefully it ain't been tampered with. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see. That's what it looked like right there. Looks pretty good. Got a guide so I know what's what. Uh, there's some nice pictures right there. Ah, uh, this is what I look forward to right here. The checklist. That would be nice to get right there. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy off, remove the middle, okay, let's inspect, let's inspect, oh, it has not been tampered with, and I know in a prior video I did got some, uh, excuse me, had some of these cards wrong, in which I stated somewhere between 12, uh, uh, <laughs> 15. I don't know what I was talking about, okay? They're basically 8 to 10. So I was definitely wrong about that. <laughs> Please forgive me. Here we got the bad boys. Hopefully we can get some big boys out of them. <sighs> I didn't show the sleeve or anything last time. You know, it was kind of sad. Here's the promo card. Looking good, looking good. I'm going to keep them in, uh, in this little plastic, the first ones I get. When I get the second, I will open it up to put into the binder. You know. I'm going to go with the sleeves. I, unfortunately, I didn't show y'all what the Rebel one looked like. When I do the second Rebel box, I will. So here we go, the three birds right there. Uh, I use a binder, so there's no point in me opening this up, putting cards in them. And they always got a little colored die, nothing spectacular, unless you actually play the trading card game. Uh, never been really that good at it, so I just collect. <laughs> Alright, I got like three kitties in here, hopefully they don't... Start deciding to get curious and want to walk around everywhere and being nosy. All right. Reverse Erica's hospitality. And it's all Pokeballs, so that looks pretty good when the light hits it. Uh, you got skews, or should I say I apologize if you can't really see the colors that well. So nothing too spectacular. There's a decent pool. Let's put this over here because I'm scared that these kitties would come and step on over everything.
Well, at least this pack opens up nicely, you know, it's not no tearing anything. It actually opens up pretty well, you know. Let's go ahead and pull this up a little bit more. Packing's a little bit designed differently. There is drawn nicely. Let's see here, we got the reverse. Excuse me, not the reverse. We got the hollow magneton. Oh yeah, got a full art, Jesse and James. That looks good right there. They have, in fact they should come out hopefully soon, or maybe next year. Uh, Team Rocket um. Uh, what do you what would you call it? Like it's not a pack or anything. It's like um a set. What will they bring back? A uh, Team Rocket set like they've done in the past with the others before. You know, like the old school. You had the Neo. Then you had the Rocket. So hopefully they bring that back. Put that on top. So definitely got a nice hit on that. I got excuse the light ain't really hitting that well and I got a kitty in the window that's blocking some of that light so still looks good magic carp Another Atkins. I like that. They got some shades to it. Pikachu. That's a great detail work right there. And here's the hollow Magnazone. Mm -hmm. So nothing behind that. <laughs> Decent hit. So I take it these special decks like Hidden Fates and all that comes with extra cards, you know, two extra ones to make up, you know, for the price. All the others usually come with an eight, maybe. I ain't gonna hold on to it. I gotta go back and see some more besides what I've already got. It's the reverse hollow Jancy. I think I already have. Unfortunately, nothing behind it. Ah, that's something nice right there. It's reverse hollow Jolton. I think I already have one, but it's still nice. I'm happy to have another. Fortunately, there's no big boy behind it. to collect the whole set of everything including the special cards you know it's out of your special packs let me see you know especially when they go up in high price you know who wants to buy four or five and still need more cards to finish the set <laughs> all right we got a gx 
like in rock. Looking good. Then we got a Wiggly Tough GX. So definitely got two hits back to back. Love it. So I'm going to use the signs as well. But at least a lot of it got imagination. Like how you draw a character and they're holding a, a green onion. Mm -hmm. Definitely a great hit right there. And yes, I am amazed that maybe some things you may think is small to you. You probably like, where's the V-Maxes? And, um, I'm alright. I just like getting something I don't have, you know. V-Max is nice, you know, but I like to have a, a full set eventually. Energy is now nice and shiny. And then we got a hollow Eevee. I really love the design. I love designs that got either the same type of Pokemons having a interaction. Or at least different Pokemons going on in the background. That brings, you know, the world alive on the card to me. I like that. And I have a special energy card. Instead of getting the same looking ones. In fact, I think, what, what's the rare one? A fairy and, um, oh, Lord, I can't think. My mind went blank. Hate that. <laughs> In fact, I think those go for a pretty penny anyway. Poke that's nicely designed. Oh, Inverse Hollow, Brock's Pewter City Gym. And regular right there. It's a little decent hit. We're down to the last two. Clefairy in reverse. Fortune, nothing behind that. So, so cool. Our last one. Let's hope we get a big boy out of this. We've had some great hits. I definitely want a big boy. You know, one of the three I'm looking forward to. It's reverse coffin. And a hollow vapor yawn. So unfortunately we did not get any of the big boys I'm looking for. It was a nice, um... And nice pulls, but unfortunately, I didn't get any of the big boys I was looking for. To me, this is my favorite pull. And as much as that actually cost to get the whole thing, yeah, I felt I could have got something a little bit better, you know, because these things are now going for like 160 to 200 plus now online. You ain't going to find it for under 100 no more. <laughs> Ah, oh, that would have been nice. At least I got one more of these boxes coming in. So we get another run. So let me know what you thought. Give me some input. I don't mind replying. I try to reply back to everybody who posts. 
Um, please leave some likes and please, please, please subscribe. Enjoy.